Welcome. Today I'm going to be guiding you on how to use this tool. This is a very nice tool for math teacher, and I'm sure you like the video. So let's start immediately. So the website it is actually a web base, and the website is called Desmonds Desmonds.com. So when you get to this site, this is the website over here. Just write this word, and you find yourself over here. Try to log in as soon as possible. Um, it is important for you to sign in, and as I do advise people um the best thing to do is to sign in using um, your gmail and also don't provide your password anywhere um the next thing i'm going to do um so this too is quite uh, very interesting their major mission is to help all students learn math and love learning maths maybe i'm part of them um you can use this too as a teacher likewise you can use this too as a student so they are trying to like create a form of lms the way i'm seeing this and um, this is a class code to join that means when you join as a teacher you can explore a lot of ways to now add students in through the use of their code i think i like that method um so what am i going to do um let me um do some graphing some graphing work accept the cookies then over here this is where the major activity starts there's the zooming in zooming out there's the setting there is also the keypad to show all the symbols and more there's the voice there's the number this is a little bit of your keypad so that you'll be able to understand how it works so how do you use this tool if you're a math teacher i think you should be able to understand where i'm going if you're a math teacher at this point so Welcome to a quick introduction to the Desmos Graphing Calculator. Whether you're just beginning to explore the coordinate plane, or you're diving deep into advanced topics, there's something here just for you. Let's take a look at a few graphing basics. I'll start by plotting a line, y equals x. The results appear instantly in the coordinate plane and update on every keystroke. Next, let's plot a curve. Y equals 1 third x squared. Let's call out two specific things here. First, to enter a fraction, I press the division symbol here on the keypad, though you can also press the forward slash key on a physical keyboard. It's located between period and shift. Next, there are several ways to enter exponents. If you just need to square something, press the A squared button. Want to raise something to a different power? Enter your base, press A to the B, and then type your exponent. You can also enter exponents from a physical keyboard by holding shift and pressing six. To identify points of interest like X and Y intercepts or points of intersection, simply tap or click and Desmos will reveal the coordinates. Adjusting the viewing window is easy too. Click, hold, and drag to move the graph paper around, or use zoom in, zoom out to get a close-up or big picture view. Want to go back to the default? Just press the home icon to reset the window. That's all for this quick introduction, but we've really only scratched the surface. To learn more about what the Desmos graphing calculator can do, from points to scratch the surface, to learn more about what the Desmos graphing calculator can do, about this maybe later, and I would like you to also try your best as much as possible. Explore this through. Give me feedback. And um, I'll be exploring more with you soon. Thank you. Bye.